CDC's recommendations to wear masks in public posing some problems for those in deaf and hard of hearing communities. Yeah, but a nurse in Mountain Pleasant is working hard on a solution. Fox 17's Janice Allen joins us live with more on what she's doing. Janice. Right, uh, Annie, Derek, Sarah Bloomfield has been making traditional masks for weeks now, but she's now making communicator masks. They have a special uh, clear plastic pane on the front of them so that uh, they can help to facilitate lip reading. You can take a look at some of the creations that she's made so far. Sarah's actually a hospice nurse and uh, started doing this because one of her coworkers is hearing impaired. By using these special masks, others at her job can protect themselves and still be able to communicate with her. She's made just over a dozen so far, since they do take a little bit longer to make with that plastic pane, and they have to be durable enough to be able to wash and sanitize them after use. What she's found is that there is a big need for them. She is dropping off a batch in Big Rapids today and also plans to distribute them to the deaf and hard and hearing services in West Michigan. I wanted my coworker to be able to keep working. She's a great nurse. We need her at work. I didn't want her to be put on home leave when she's healthy and perfectly capable of working. Um, I also have friends and acquaintances that are deaf or hard of hearing. And so I stopped to think about how this was impacting their ability to communicate. But every little bit helps. And even if I can't make a huge amount, it'll make a difference to the people that get them. It sure will. Sarah says that coworker is very grateful to be able to be able to continue working right now by wearing those special masks. Uh, she says she's working on a pattern that she can share with others who might want to help create them. We'll be posting more information in this story on our website and our mobile app. Back to you guys in studio.